Hey, Antonio, um, how have you refined your game? How, how have you changed your game to become so much more effective? Uh, coach told me uh, he expects consistency. So I've like been working on uh, finding my role on the team, uh, finding what I can do to help the team win. So I've been trying to go get rebounds, go get the easy buckets, uh, and just play my game. How comfortable are you with this new role? I'm super comfortable. I feel like I'm just playing basketball. Like it's a lot more fun. I don't have to worry about things. I just play my hardest and it's helping the, helping the team. Okay, uh, on today, how bad was that first half for you guys? Uh, the first half, we came out kind of sluggish. Uh, I feel like the second half, we definitely uh, picked it up. But defensively, we had a, uh, some good stops, some good defensive possessions in a row. Uh, but we just got to be able to score the basketball and make little hustle plays down the stretch. And when you finally made that run in the second half, you had such a big deficit to make up. Do, do you feel like you just you kind of ran out of energy and they took back up? Uh, like I said before, I, I don't feel like we ran out of energy. I just feel like we got to make the little plays in the second half. But I feel like if we would have played better in the first half, we wouldn't have had to worry about that deficit. So we definitely have to start off stronger and just be able to play for 40 minutes at the highest level. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Antonio, you guys have played with so much energy to start of recent games. What was just kind of the, the difference tonight? Uh, I just guess we started off slow. We had kind of a shaky two days of practice, so we'll get back on Monday. We'll have practice Monday, so uh, we'll be preparing for KU. Bring, bring in energy at the start of practice, preparing, preparing better is what will help us, like, play better in the first halves. And then our warm-ups, the way we warm up, we got to bring energy in warm-ups. So – uh, just racing things. When you say practices have been shaky, what do you mean by that? Uh, we didn't have the last yeah, well, two good practices, so right the, uh, the next practice will do a lot better, but we had a rough two practices. We weren't cut in. We weren't focused. And I, I know it's been a long time since you guys have won a game. Does it feel like you're on a 12-game losing streak or – with the way you guys have been playing a little better lately, has that really not entered your mind? Um, we're just trying to make improvement each game. We're trying to make improvement, do what, what's best for the team. And um, each game is different. So we come into each game thinking we're going to win the game, and we just play the game. We play our best. All right. Thanks, Antonio. Mm -hmm. Next question to Michael Bowens. Yeah, Antonio, do you feel like you've got to accept kind of a, uh, a leadership role? on this team, even as a sophomore? Uh, I definitely felt like an older guy coming into the summer. So I'm just trying to like help the younger guys like find their role, find like what they can do to help contribute to the team. Even if it's just cheering on the bench, it doesn't matter. So I, I feel like I just try to bring as much energy and try to lead by example. You mentioned warmups. Did it feel like the focus wasn't there in the early going today? Yeah, I felt like we started off a little slow, uh, probably because people didn't go to sleep or we had a long drive here. But still, that doesn't make up for the fact that we didn't have that much energy in warm up. So we got to be better on that. And in the big picture, what what's the energy like for this team with a dozen losses in a row now? What What's the kind of long-term effects of that? Um, we're still trying to stay hopeful. We're still staying motivated. Uh, we still feel like we can turn this season around and play a good last stretch of games and hopefully see what we could do in the Big 12 tournament. But we're just all staying together and staying uh, strong as brothers.